Hey guys, I was uh, blogging the other day and <clears throat> I was talking about how much I hated using my mouse and honestly it's because I really do. I hate moving my right hand from the keyboard over to the mouse. It's such a waste of time. I like to use keyboard shortcuts as much as possible whenever I'm writing papers or whenever I'm just browsing the web. And um, one thing that's kind of hard to use keyboard shortcuts with is just uh, general navigation through your computer, going from folder to folder, from program to program, other than basic alt-tab stuff. It's kind of hard to open programs just using keyboard shortcuts. But one of my friends that I met through uh, Rubik's Cube competitions actually suggested a program called Launchy, and I went ahead and downloaded it, but I was kind of skeptical because I've used programs like Rocket Dock before that, you know, third-party programs that uh, well, Rocket Dock basically adds a Mac-like toolbar or dock to the bottom of your computer for Windows computers. So I was kind of skeptical with this, but I decided to go ahead and download it, and honestly, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, like I said, it makes your entire or your entire computer uh, accessible using keyboard shortcuts, and I'll go ahead and show you how it works. Um, it runs... I won't be using my mouse except for whenever you see the mouse moving like right now, but right down here, Launchy, it says press alt space to activate it so I'll hit alt space and it brings up this little search bar and anything you type in it immediately starts showing you what starts with those two letters like I've typed right now so IT and it shows iTunes solitaire digital certificate so I'll go ahead and tab which it does have IntelliSense to open up iTunes and slowly but surely it will open and then I'll go ahead and Alt-Tab again, and I guess I'll open Steam, which is a gaming client. So as you can see, I've just used Alt-Space, Tab, and normal 26 character keys to open both of these programs. So I'll go ahead and open Chrome, uh, log into Gmail, Facebook, whoops, dot com, uh, Twitter, that was supposed to be Gmail. So, so far I've just used keyboard shortcuts and I've opened iTunes, Steam, and Google Chrome along with Facebook, Twitter, and Gmail. Um, I'll go ahead and close these out. Uh, another cool thing about Launchy is that whenever you open something, it automatically hides in the background so I'll go ahead and open Google Chrome and when I hit enter you'll see that the application disappears into the background once it opens Chrome so that's a nice feature um, you can also add libraries and that's basically adding different parts of your computer so I've added program files so if I do C colon tab over with the IntelliSense program files now everything that's under program files is accessible through this so I'll go to uh, iPod, and then everything under iPod is now accessible, and then I can open that folder. I'll do something else. C program, whoops, program files, TechSmith, and then I can open the software that I'm actually using to record this video. And I'll close this. And now I'm going to go ahead and use my mouse, unfortunately, to open the settings. Uh, you got all these uni uh, user interface options. You can download skins. Uh, if you like this one, I'm actually using the Ubuntu one. Um, I think it was on DeviantArt, but here's your catalog where you add all of the directories that you want to be accessible. But other than that, um, it's pretty basic, works very well. I haven't come across too many problems. The only thing is uh, you have to know the exact name of whatever you're trying to open. So if I try and open Visual, well I guess that worked. Um, usually if I try to open Visual Studio it'll open some smaller, uh, like this remote debugger instead of Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. So whenever, I guess it maybe starts catching on to programs you frequently open, but whenever I first had this, if I typed in Visual Studio, it'd bring up the command prompt, which isn't what I wanted. I wanted Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. But that is basically it. Works very well. Um, 
other than having to know the exact names of your programs. I don't have too many complaints about this. Works well. Alt space is an easy keyboard shortcut to bring this up. And I love it. I don't have to use my mouse as much anymore. So if you guys are as anal about me, or as anal as me about using your mouse, go ahead and download this, try it out, because I think it works great. See you guys later.